by designing for manufactured in the first place, we're going to now start to open up a whole bunch of different ways that manufacturing can bring them lots of savings. And there's a little bit of a workflow here that we're going to go start to go through. Okay. So once we go through design for manufactured assembly, there's actually two different types of manufactured assembly. So there's what is called panelized. So this is, think of kit homes, right? Mm -hmm. So panelized, we can actually bring it in and we can flat pack a house. It's like a tilt up? Tilt up is a form of panelized, absolutely. Okay. And then we have volumetric. So the volumetric is where when we completely build it in the factory as an entire room and we bring the entire room in. So very different. Now we've got the two approaches. Mm -hmm. Each one of these two approaches then itself has two approaches. So we can panelize using, I guess, just the frames or we can panelize doing the entire wall. So the entire wall could be the interior lining, the electricals, the, I guess, the external cladding. It could mm -hmm. be the gyp rock on the inside, all the plumbing inside the wall, the whole lot. So then we can actually just come to site and click it into place. And this is being done in Australia now. Now. Absolutely. And if it's done overseas, though, naturally the cost saving kicks in to a different level if the scale is there? Correct. So there's balances that we have to look at, and every single project has to be looked at it on its own merits. So if we manufacture in Australia, we're using Australian labour, more yep. expensive, and Australian materials more expensive, mm -hmm. but the freight to get it to site will likely be less because we're only freighting it, I guess, as domestic freight.